Alrighty, welcome back to the jungle. We're gonna be playing, I think, my last game on Briar on PBE here. She's gonna be released soon, and we've done about all there is to do in terms of like funny builds and whatnot. I'm sure if you're looking for one, then we have it. And then this time, for our last funny build here, we got Unflinching with Conditioning as our secondary runes. And then that with Legend Tenacity is gonna make it very difficult for Fiddlesticks and then. Seraphine to CC us. And whenever you run runes like this, you don't need uh, Merc Shreds either. They wouldn't be bad to get here, but since we already have the Tenacity from the runes, and then also you get Tenacity from the Green Smite here once it's completed, then I can build uh, the Ninja Tabby, and then the Ninja Tabby will help me much more against the Yone and then the Alawi. So, that's what we're cooking this time. And since they have pretty low damage, I may be able to actually build Bork for the first time in a long time. But the more that I've built the uh, the Gore Drinker into the Stairax, it's really made me believe in like the HP items. So maybe we try to do it mid-range, like Stridebreaker into Black Cleaver, for example. Which would be much, much more offensive, but probably doable since the enemy has such low damage in their team comp. So we'll try that build out. Surprisingly, Stridebreaker is like my least uh, least built mythic item. I've been trying all the other ones like Boar Drinker, Bork, and uh, oh, I even tried Kraken Slayer. Don't do that. But Stridebreaker is not a bad item. It's just like, man, I like having a bunch of funny HP. So when finishing the blue buff here, you want to pull it into the Gromp and then use the W. So you can get the W going onto the Gromp as well. If you use that second W on the blue itself, the Gromp takes way too long to clear. So here it's just a couple autos. Slam that bad boy into the wall. And then just like that, we're level 4. You want to look for a full clear on Briar in the early game, in my opinion. The more levels you get, the stronger you are, generally. I think we can skip the Scuttle for now and try to attack this guy. Fight! Take a little negative trade for me, you know? So what we're going to do is... Q on top of him, moving, and then E, slam him into the wall twice, <laughs> and then chomp. Nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. With the E, you can E flash, but boy is it hard. Um, I saw it on LS's stream where you have to like, <laughs> you actually have to flash Briar's toes on top of the enemy. That's how you get the E flash to actually work, or else you'll kind of just E in place and not get the slam off. Let's reset. Good start to the game. I'm thinking just... Uh, maybe I can fight. This is stupid to stay, but Andy's dead. Let's recall. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Do I want to fight Fiddlesticks on Raptors? Not particularly. Let's do Pickaxe and Boots. I really like the Boots on Briar in the early game. But I'm also playing on PvE where it's like, yeah, the enemy dies super easily. And honestly, like, I am just clearing the camps. Surely I should have just got a long sword. It just speeds up the whole process and gets me where I need to be faster. And then once I'm there, I'll be strong enough with the long sword itself. But yeah, I've played so many games on Briar on PvE. And I'm really, really excited for her to be released. I think the champion is a lot of fun to play. I think her unique mechanic of the W, now that I've gotten used to it, is it's just fun. It reminds me of like whenever I first started playing Belveth, how you use all the Qs and stuff. You have a lot of options of how you cast the Q, the E, and the Flash to try to outplay the enemy. So I really like this champion. She's very basic, always full HP in the jungle. Like very bulky and you know easy and strong to play. For an old man like myself, oh I appreciate when she just right clicks and hits the bad guy. <laughs> It is more complex than that, but not by much. But then the part where it is, I like it. Kick that wolf in the face. Nice. Now Fiddlesticks is going to end his clear on the bot side, whereas I'm on the top side here, so... We're going to... Oh, really? You want to do this? This is fine. W, smite this, and then we'll W on top of him. Auto. Auto, Q, auto, auto, chomp. Now he is going to deal a good amount of damage, but I won't be dying. So, we're okay. Nice. W, chomp, chomp, chomp. No. Chomp this guy. E. Wow, I'm winning. 
Oh, and they finish him off. Wow. Okay, lucky. Lucky. If Yon had a long sword, you know, conqueror. If I got sneezed on at the right time, like I would have been dead there. So let's do iron spike whip. Hmm. Two long swords or a ruby crystal. I'm in the same dilemma. I want that ruby crystal, but I know I'm mostly clear in the camps right now. Crusal echoes in my ear. Buy damage to clear the camps faster. Oh, and he's so right. Because I get my actual HP by getting level 6. I guess another tip too is whenever you're in base like that and you're low HP, but you're going to go clear a camp, don't wait. Don't wait for HP. You will always get back to full HP off these camps. So let me press that W again, you know, you're good. Alrighty. Oh, drop an ulti right here. Yes. Oh, she just dies from the explosion. Very cool, very cool. Alrighty, so our ulti is on a 1 minute and 40 cooldown. Oh. Try my best right there. I think I can take Dragon. You know, since I killed bot lane, nothing's really going to happen here. Top lane's already happening without me, so... Gotta wait for my W. Oh. It's the real Fiddlesticks right there. It's the real Slim Shady right there. I forgot to mention, but that's another aspect why this champion is so fun. The ulti, there's so much packed into this bad boy. Imagine a Fiddlesticks ulti mixed with a Vex ulti mixed with a Pantheon ulti. And you would say, that sounds unfair. And you'd be exactly right. You'd be exactly right. Now imagine that ulti also gave you lifesteal and armor and magic resist and movement speed and lifesteal. Thank you. It gives you all of that. Alrighty, let's uh, get Stridebreaker here. And then look for a reset. There has to be a better way for me to do those raptors. Because those two raptors are living. Maybe I have to auto attack the raptors first and then pull them together and then use the W. Because the W have this has this cleave passive, but it's not very big. Okay, Fiddlesticks is pretty low. He might be looking for Rift Heralds, he might be looking for my blue buff, so... Let's try to spot the big man out. Let him use his abilities. And then we can kind of run him down from here, I think. W, we're feared. Oh, the unflinching coming in big. Q, W, auto. And then we're gonna E. Run! Dodge. Oh, okay. Okay, Google, why did I take so much damage there? Now I have Stride Breaker, I'm being pretty stupid right here, but what if I went back to full HP and then ulted that Fiddlesticks? Now what if he just ulted me right here? Oh! Phew. Oh, I think I win. <laughs> no way. Chomp. Uh. <laughs> I guess he didn't have ulti, if that's how he played it. Hello, friend. Nice. Guess I'll take Rift Herald on the way out. I do have to be careful for Yon. W, auto. Oh man, I can't hit the I now. Come on. Oh, the E's not actually worth the cast on the Rift Herald because you can't slam him against the wall. So it only dealt like 90 damage there. Okay. I want to get my recall off anytime this year, man. But... <laughs> this stuff just keeps popping up. Alrighty, Yone, we have a question. Do you want to die? Many PvE players would say yes. I want to hit this turret and die. But you answer with a no, and that's very intelligent. Even though this is warded. Oh shit! Goodbye. W, Q, chomp. 
Run, run. No, 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 bitch. Listen, run away. <laughs> I can't believe it targeted Fiddle from there to there. Alrighty, let's recall. I think it's pretty important to buy, like, the uh, CDR when you can. So, buying the Stride Breaker gives us more ability haste. And if we get that ability haste before we cast the ulti again, then the ulti will have a lower cooldown. So then, therefore, like, we're getting more ultis off that way. But since I stayed on the map so long, it didn't end up working out like that. I was just sitting on the components of Stride Breaker, whereas when we complete it, we have that 20 ability haste. On top of a billion other stats this bad boy gives us. Um. Ooh, nice, a TP. <laughs> I think I'm still fine here. Stride Breaker, Q, Chomp. Um, a little bit soon on the chomp, but I think it's fine. My team's here. So we'll kill them right there, but I need to heal. Go ahead and drop the Rift Herald. Fiddlesticks also still has ulti. Well, actually, no, they ulted mid, that's right. Wish I had blue trinket so I could, like, just ult right in here. Having vision... If you're a support player playing with Briar, like, providing vision for her sets up so many more plays. If I know where the guy is in the jungle, it's absurd that I can just shoot that rocket right in there, SpaceX style, and take him out. Alright, I guess I'll clear my camps. Just waiting for Dragon, but waiting for a, a opportunity to ult in here. This is looking promising. Shibing! And we'll travel anyways, even though that guy dies. Phew. Chomp. Triple kill. Triple kill. Oh, I don't have any way to get this guy, huh? No camps. It's like Stride Breaker has dealt 100 damage, you know? It's alright. Honestly, whenever this champion goes live, though, I feel like Stride Breaker will be stronger. In a lot of cases. Just from the, like, offensive utility. Because, like, if you have initial lead, it doesn't really matter what you build. But then Stride Breaker is one of those items where, since it gives you so much, it becomes, like, best in slot. Alrighty, so since we have the ability haste and we cast that ulti, it's only on a 100 second cooldown. So now, we've done that play, we've taken the objective, and all I have to really worry about is farming my camps from here. Unless the play's coming to me, I want to be farming my camps so that I get more XP. Because now we're going from level 9 to 10, and we're really looking for level 11 so that we have 2 points in our ulti. Let's go ahead and reset. Spend a little bit of our gold, and then we'll go for the Black Cleaver second, it's more offensive. Ruby Crystal Longsword, let's get back out there. Nine seconds on my ult, partner, just give me a sec. Little six is so like stuck whenever he uses that too. Damn. Oh, maybe right here. Um, no. Maybe. Oh, let's just let it rip. Listen. And they walk the other way. Classic. Oh, wait! I hit someone. What the hell? I hit Yone. Holy shit! Okay. A W A Q A A. Nice. What the fuck? What the fuck? I went from here all the way to there? Jesus Christ. Guess I'll farm bot lane. You know, speaking of the offensive capability too, with the Black Cleaver, it'd give me more ability haste. Therefore, I'd have more ulties come mid-game. Interesting. Alrighty. I think that's going to be the last game I play on PBE of Briar, so... Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll definitely be playing more of her on release. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Peace.